Hi Year 10, it's Miss Rowe here. I'm just having a few problems making videos. So this is part one of P1. So this will help you with statutory, private and voluntary care services. Um, and then the next video, part two, is the list of functions you have to give. So bear with me, I have to make another couple of videos because just realised at the end when I've been talking for ages that it hadn't recorded me. So anyway, right, so statutory health and social services. So for P1, it, the first part, it says identify one example of a a health and social care service from each of the following types of provision that can be found in your local area. So statutory, private, voluntary. So as we said, statutory, they're national services, so they must be provided by law throughout the UK. Think the NHS. Um, law states that it statutes, so this is a where the word statutory comes from. Uh, the government sets up manages and leads statutory services and they are funded paid for from working people's taxes based on their income so the nhs and councils are examples of statutory provision that are legally required to be provided by the government nhs england oversees the funding planning and delivery of the nhs for example clinical commissioning groups or ccg are responsible for planning, providing health and care services that are needed in the local area. So, healthcare services, um, example of statutory healthcare services, accident and emergency department, or A&E, ambulance services, child psychology services, family planning, GPs or general practitioners, health centres, hospitals, maternity services, mental and social health services occupational therapy and pharmacies um, social care services include day centers uh, family support centers fostering and adoption services learning disability uh, services residential care homes residential nursing homes and safeguarding services <coughs> excuse me so what about private services so they are owned and run by private individuals rather than the government. So private care providers charge a fee for their services as they are businesses and need to make a profit. So some of you might remember we were talking about dentists uh, the other day. And for example, if I want to go and get a fill in uh, on the NHS, they might say, right, well, we haven't got any nhs uh, bookings or we haven't got any time slots for to for you to make an appointment for three weeks so or i could go private tomorrow and then pay a fee maybe say it's 80 pounds and then i might get in tomorrow luckily but like i said you do you are paying to so that business can profit unlike the nhs so uh, examples include private residential care homes, Bupa, um, we've got Spire as well near um, St Mary's School. Uh, we have um, different uh, Newfield health hospitals, non-NHS dentists, private day nurseries and opticians. So some of the services they provide may not be available in the statutory sector. So they might, might say, oh, it, it's not available on the NHS. Um, voluntary. These are not-for-profit businesses and organisations and charities. So they're sometimes referred to as the third sector organisations. So some staff will be paid um, to lead and manage the organisation, which is usually from income received in the form of donations or grants. But these services are provided by volunteers mainly who do not get paid and they give their time for free. So... These services are not run by the government and they do not have statutory duty to provide services. Instead, they provide health and social care services because they see a need for them. So voluntary sector could be Age UK, Shelter, Childline, Mind, Dementia UK, Diabetes UK, Bernardo's, Macmillan Cancer Support and British Heart Foundation. So they're some of the examples of the current voluntary health and social care providers. 
So hopefully th that section will lead on nicely to the list of functions which is on my next video. Good luck everyone.